when you honor teachers, um, and I want to go back uh, in my own family to four years ago when uh, we first came here, uh, and one of my kids at one of the Jewish day schools uh, came home and shared with us uh, the amazing and moving experience of his teacher being selected for an award by BJE. And what it meant to me was that not only were the teachers being awarded, but the, the kids were being honored too. And how significant it is in their lives when you uh, respect and appreciate their teachers. So this really comes full circle. Now, I'd like to share with you some of the um, lessons that I learned here as a representative of Israel, because I think it relates directly to the way we educate our kids. Um, Lowell, I don't know if you remember, but I came to your office a good four years ago and we had a quiet conversation about what the foundation does and what the Milken Center does. And one of the things you said to me back then, I remember very clearly until this day, and it's become sort of a core mission of, of our consulate. You said, pay very careful attention to what we do in the Global Milken Conference and how we feature Israel when it comes to technology and, uh, and sustainability and, and the things that Israel does that are important to mankind. I can't stress enough how important that is in this day and age. Uh, I'll share two stories with you. Um, there's so many stories to share, but before I get to the stories, the, the message is that what Israel does is very significant to the United States, not just in Washington, D.C., but in every city and in every locality and every uh, county in the country. And, and the more we learn to communicate this, I mean, just look at your newspapers today, uh, Carlsbad, the desal plant, the largest in the Western Hemisphere, it's an Israeli project. It's a $1 billion Israeli company that will be doing it in Carlsbad. The next station will be Santa Barbara, and so on and so on. Um, there was a senior delegation from Irvine University. Now, Irvine has become sort of the boogeyman of the BDS movement over the years, but I don't think you realize what has been happening on that campus in recent years. Irvine now has 12 agreements with the State of Israel and with the institutions in Israel. Uh, they just came back from another trip, five deans and the chancellor, the new chancellor, um, Catholic Americans, Jewish Americans, some of them the first time in Israel, others have been multiple times. The experience that they describe uh, of visiting Israel is, is overwhelming to hear for, for us and the excitement that they came back with, with new models about for example, how to do tech transfer in universities in an era with declining budgets where universities have to generate their own profits and how they're looking at the Israeli model about how the universities took the innovation from the labs and the classrooms and commercialized that innovation into billions of dollars of profits that go back to the university is so significant as a model for American institutions of higher learning that it's just one more example of how Israel was there first and American partners are learning through mutual collaboration together. My message to you is the way we teach our kids about Israel is critical. Let's teach our kids about Israel's history, its significance, their Jewish identity, but also about what Israel contributes to the world. 